Man, some of the comments on my last video. Everybody's so concerned that I attached the top handle to this little screw here. I know, I know what everybody's saying and all that stuff. But trust me, this thing is solid. I mean, I've been using it like that. Never had a problem. This thing works great. I'm not saying you guys should all do what I'm doing, but this thing's not going anywhere. That's why I love this rig. Oh, fuck. God. <laughs> Anyways, this is just a stupid joke. Don't worry, the camera is fine. I didn't drop it. But yeah, I do understand what you guys were saying. Uh, a lot of people were telling me I should not be attaching anything, uh, just using that one quarter 20 screw on the top. Uh, and yes, valid point. Now still, in my case, you know, I wanted to use the camera before I got any cage or accessories. Uh, and the only thing I had with me was a top handle. So I think if you're just gonna attach a top handle just to carry the camera, like I said, and you're not going to build up the camera, the camera itself is pretty light. So in that case, I don't think it's a problem. Again, you know, it's your call, your camera, obviously if you break it, uh, it's your fault. But in my case, this worked great because it was a nice and small camera package. And when I did attach a monitor uh, to, to view it up here, then I would actually hold it here by the monitor and I had my other hand uh, on the camera. But if you did want to put a lot of extra weight, then uh, the best way would be to actually put a, some kind of a cage on this camera. And this way you can just attach more accessories with more weight onto the camera. So let me show you the different cages and accessories that I've been testing out with the Blackmagic Packet Cinema 4K camera. So first I got this cage here from 8sin. Uh, it's a machined aluminum or uh, aluminium or however it is you guys pronounce it. Uh, you know what I mean. Uh, basically it's a cage with a top handle. It's very minimalistic in a way. It's very light, which is a good thing, uh, at least for me. When I'm looking at ca for a cage for any camera, I want obviously something that's going to be feel sturdy, it's going to protect the camera, but also something that doesn't add too much extra unnecessary weight basically. So. This thing is very light. So this is how it looks once you mount the camera in the cage. It's very fast for mounting it. You just have one screw there on the top, one there on the bottom, uh, and that's it. It does sit in there nice and secure, which is uh, important, as in it doesn't twist uh, left or right or anything like that in the cage. It also wasn't really like a tight squeeze or anything like that, like hard to get it in, like some cages can sometimes be. Um, I do like the fact that they give you this NATO rail on the top, you can loosen that obviously and you can if you want you can just remove the top handle uh, from that rail but if you want to again you can put it again either this way kind of facing forward or backwards you know e either way you want it you can kind of slide this thing in there and you can offset it a little bit you can adjust left or right kind of a little bit and then once you're happy with it you just lock it and this thing is definitely secure now it's not it's not gonna fall off like my other, uh, you know, well, like my other minimal setup, which never did fall off. But I, I know what you guys mean, because now it's uh, you're basically holding onto the cage. The cage is obviously very secure. This NATO rail on top itself is attached to using two uh, screws to the cage, and then the cage itself is one big piece, and then the camera sits in the cage. So uh, you know, definitely you don't have to worry. Now, as far as um, kind of this, the design of it, they do give you access here. To all the buttons uh, as you can see so you can you can access all the buttons uh, and uh, yeah, that shouldn't be really any problems you also have access to all of these buttons here on the top uh, on the back it's the same case um, again you can access everything it does stick out a little bit and if you guys can see like the top here and the bottom kind of sticks out a little bit past the screen so I guess in uh, just in case it were to let's say land like this it's technically not gonna be landing on the screen uh, it's going to be landing on the cage. Uh, here on the bottom, you do also have access to the uh, batteries. So that's not without a problem. You can take out the batteries. And let's also make sure we can access the cards. So yeah, the card slot also easy to get to. And I like the fact that they left extra space here. So this really opens up wide. As you can see, there's a lot of like quarter 20 and actually 3 8 attachments here on the, on the top sides. Uh, same thing on the handle, there's quarter 20 and 3 8 attachments. And you do have a cold shoe mount here uh, on the top of the, the camera uh, or the handle. Uh, and then here on the side, uh, they give you a crimp for the HDMI cable. And I guess the USB cable will be the other one. So I mean the HDMI cable goes in there, but it's not really holding it because I don't see how I can move this basically here, the crimp, so that it will actually tighten and hold the cable in place. So it doesn't get snug. So it's kind of a fail because, uh, well, you can move this, but it just moves a very little. It's not enough really to make that much of a difference. So even if I move it in all the way, which is this much, 
you can see there's still a lot of play there uh, with my HDMI cable so um, yeah so in this case I mean unless you had like a really thick HDMI cable doesn't seem like this would do much so I'm just gonna attach a monitor here on the top handle using the quarter 20 so as you can see it works and mounts nicely here on top nice and secure and uh, and another cool little thing I discovered is that this thing uh, you can actually loosen this little thing on, on the uh, top handle and you can also slide the top handle so you can kind of have it let's say in the middle like this so this is my setup here uh, with this new uh, this is a monitor that I got from Feel World. This is actually the Feel World Master model. Uh, it's a neural monitor from them. And as you can see, this is a, I think a nice package. Meaning it's you know the cage is going to protect your camera, uh, allows you all these other attachment points. So you can attach let's say an extra battery or let's say if you have an SSD that we want to record to, things like that. Uh, Definitely having the you know, ability to attach a monitor here is going to be helpful uh, and a top handle so it's easier to carry around with you. But if you want to, let's say, throw this up on a gimbal, then you can quickly again detach this, uh, loosen the, here, the top handle, slide it out. And you're ready to throw it up on a gimbal now. And you can definitely still use it on uh, most gimbals uh, with the cage because again the cage doesn't add that much weight and not even that much extra size basically to it so so overall i do like this cage i just don't like the the cable crimps i guess they're they're kind of useless for me but otherwise a nice little cage now let me try the next one next cage i've got here is from came tv and this one actually comes with a few extra pieces so again i'll throw the camera up on this cage and, uh, and kind of show you i guess all the things that it offers uh, one big difference i'll tell you right away is that uh, I notice is that it has also the cover kind of here on the on the grip here on the front. Now it is removable, so if you don't want it, uh, you have these little screws and you can remove it. I guess it will save yourself a little bit extra weight, although it is pretty much the same weight as the other cage. Again, very lightweight, it's machined uh, aluminum. That's how the camera looks in the cage. Uh, it feels very nice. Now this thing definitely here, it protects the, the grip. But it also just makes it a, a very big. Uh, if you have larger hands, you won't have a problem. You can still hold it, but it would somebody with smaller hands would not be able to wrap their hand around this. Uh, they do give you the, a cutout here, so you can operate the dial here. Uh, you also have access, you can see here, for the, to all the buttons here and here, just as easily as the other one. Here on the side, uh, you only have basically the, the rail here on the front. You have nothing here on the back. Uh, so you could, I guess, attach some kind of a cable cramp, although this actually doesn't come with any, um, so you'd have to get a third-party one. Now, I'll tell you guys something. For the HDMI, I wouldn't worry. I mean, I've used this camera before without a cage and uh, just throwing it under a, a kind of an HDMI, full-size HDMI cable. It fits there pretty snug. It's like a, a nice and sturdy HDMI port. Now, if you're going to connect something via the USB... C uh, connection, let's say an external hard drive they want to record to. For that, I would recommend having a cramp be simply because you know that that's actually how you're going to be recording. So you do not want to have a hard drive, let's say the USB cable, kind of go loose loose on you because first of all, it could corrupt your whole hard drive. You could lose all that data. Um, that's why I think for that it would be important to have the cable like nice and secure. So you again with this cage, you would just have to buy something to to connect that. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, you have full access here to the sides. Uh, here on the bottom, uh, also access to everything that you need. You also have a nice little opening here, just like with the other cage for the vent here on the bottom. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, you can get here to the battery compartment, no problem. Now, one thing I do like is that here on the top, they just have like these sort of color-coded markings and they have uh, a kind of an interesting layout, first of all, of these, again, quarter 20 and 3 eighths. Uh, threads but also they have a cold shoe attachment here and this one's like a lockable one so you can once you slide things in there it, you know won't won't fall out this way and then you have another cold shoe mount up here so you can actually directly onto the cage without ever having a top handle you can attach a microphone or let's say a monitor or something like that that you would attach through the cold shoe mount oh and also as far as the battery compartment let's make sure it opens without a problem and yeah it opens fully you can access it so that works nicely now this cage actually comes with a few accessories so uh, one thing for example they give you is this top handle now this one is not on a nato rail uh, like the previous cage but they give you these uh, quarter 20 basically screws 
and, and these are just basically thumb basically uh, nubs and sort of the way you're supposed to attach it is here to the front you have these two threads uh, and you just kind of turn it in there and uh, yeah it attaches actually pretty fast so no complaints there just tighten these two and then that's it it's ready next thing uh, you'll get is these nice wooden handles these handles uh, actually you know from so far from ha having used this uh, they do allow you to hold the camera like the nicer just simply because it, it kind of moves your hands further away from the center of the cameras uh, center of gravity and what that means then is that is that the shakes let's say of your hands are not as noticeable as when you have your hands really close together um, so if you're going to be doing a lot of handheld operation but you're not going to build the camera to have a, like say a shoulder rig or anything like that then this actually would be a, a good way of doing it because uh, again you just attach these handles here and they have these uh, threads here that again you just easily just kind of thread them on so there's one handle and then let me attach now the second one and with the two handles as you can see um yeah it's it's comfortable to hold it like this and again your handshakes are going to be a lot less noticeable basically because it's uh, your hands are further apart uh, and it does feel nice now for my use so far when i was testing this cage i end up just pretty much removing the handle here on the right so that this way if i wanted to throw this up on a gimbal my favorite new gimbal which is the uh, moza air 2 then uh, again i you know didn't have to worry about having this big thing here sticking out so uh, it just fits better on the gimbal but also uh, if I found myself that here it's without this right gri hand grip uh, I, f I, I like it actually to kind of you know just hold the camera like this so I'm holding it comfortably on this side I can access all the buttons and everything and then here on the left side it just yeah it feels a bit more comfortable because before I would have to you know usually kind of have my hand here on, on this side or up here but then you're kind of getting in the way of the cables so um, yeah nice nice cage now here's another thing you'll notice and that's kind of something that I like uh, if, about my my top handle that I had got from the small rig and that's the fact that they give you here 15 millimeter rod uh, basically attachment so I can actually put a 15 millimeter rod and I can attach a monitor that way and the way I would mount uh, accessories to this is uh, just to take any 15 millimeter rod stick it here uh, you can move it to this side, that side. I'll right now kind of put it here in the center, uh, tighten that, and then this really cool little arm from Small Rig uh, is uh, allows you to attach basically an EVF or a monitor. And here, using my quick release, I can just quickly attach the monitor. And like this, it's very comfortable. I can have the monitor here at my it kind of the, you know the height of my face, uh, while at the same time I have nice grip here on both sides of the camera. Uh, and again, because it's attached through the 15 millimeter rod, it just means that this whole monitor now and whatever other accessories you want to put on uh, on this uh, are going to be a lot more sturdy because this is a lot more of a sturdy connection than, uh, let's say, attaching it through a cold shoe mount or through those little friction arms, which I always find are, are kind of always flimsy. Now, another thing that KMTV gives you is this base, which will then allow you to uh, put let's say the 15 millimeter rods if you wanted to build it up even bigger to kind of an over the shoulder uh, You know rig and once you have a rig like this you can attach a v-mount battery here on the back And now I'm gonna attach this uh, do-it-yourself 12 volt power cable for the Blackmagic Packet Cinema Camera that I, uh, I made myself and that I show you guys how you can make it uh, very easily in my other video uh, when I talk about about the different ways of powering the the camera and again, I know I had people before complaining that I have no cable management and things like that. Again, guys, this is just, I'm just showing you quickly here what some of the possibilities. Obviously, if I was going to run with this, I would, you know, probably tidy up the cable, attach it maybe here or underneath it. You know, you can do it a thousand different ways. I'll leave that up to your imagination. So I can, for example, attach the monitor here on, on the left side. And this way, as I'm operating it kind of over the shoulder like this, uh, it's comfortable for me to just look at the monitor, uh, you know, this way. It's like right in front of my face, but I can still see the touch screen here on the back of the camera and I can operate and change my settings that way. So I think this is a really nice and solid uh, kind of over the shoulder rig. Having this cage now allows you in case you need to build it up. Let's say if you want to put a matte packs and put filters like an ND filters or things like that, then you can do that. Or let's say if you're going to throw cinema lenses, uh, on your camera because after all you have a cinema uh, you know packet cinema camera 
then with the cinema lenses, then you can attach a follow focus to the, the 15 millimeter rods here on the bottom. And so now suddenly because of this cage, it just allows you to work with this camera a little bit better as if you were working with like a full size cinema camera. I've got another cage up here. This one's from Shape. Now this one, I can tell you right away, is the, the lightest from all the cages I've tried. But it also feels, I don't know why, it just feels the cheapest. It's, you can even like, oh here, see if I press this, you can see how it flexes. So that's, that's the only thing. Now maybe it's not a problem once you put the camera in there. So this is how the camera looks once it's mounted in the cage. And yeah, definitely feels the lightest out of all of them. And uh... Well, okay, so I do like the fact that you have access here to the, the grip, like there's nothing in the way, so it doesn't make the grip any larger, and you have the, the original basically grip on the camera has this nice uh, rubber kind of coating, so that is, is nice, and then you have this padded thing here on this side, but um, something about this cage just feels a little, like, just cheap. First thing I noticed, though, is that uh, it almost looks like somebody who designed this never actually bothered putting it on the camera because I'll tell you right away, uh, even though you have access to the grip here on the right side, what I don't like is I have medium-sized hands and my hand doesn't fit in there. And, and so normally, you know, I would have my pinky kind of here on the bottom of the, of the camera here or on the bottom basically of the grip. Well, now I can't get it in there because the bottom of the cage kind of gets in the way and the edge of the cage, actually all the edges here, like everywhere, they're very like sharp. It's ni not nicely beveled and, and rounded off like it is on, on the other cages. So, uh, so that's something that I right away I don't like. And then another thing is uh, this thing, see for the strap, it has these two little uh, loops. And this loop also, it's like this really sharp edge on these. Uh, so that the metal on it is very sharp. And it just so happens that the bottom one sits exactly where you can even see already I have like little markings on my hand like literally goes right in my hand there when I grab it. So yeah, it's just not comfortable. Another thing I notice here is that these buttons here are a little abstracted like the ones here. You can still get to them, but it's like, you know, it's they're like a little bit hidden underneath the, uh, the, the top here piece and so like getting to the power button is a little bit harder and even just these other like function buttons. Let's check, make sure the battery compartment is not abstracted. So no, the battery compartment is, you know, opens easily and nice and fully. So that's good. Uh, the, here, the card compartment also should be no problem. Yep. Now on the left side here of the cage, it comes with the crimp here for the cables. So I have it mounted, but uh, as you notice, it's it's not really gonna grip this unless you have like a really, like a large uh, HDMI plug. Uh, but the regular HDMI cable, it's, it's not gonna hold it. Now it's also not gonna hold the uh, the USB cable, let's say, if you were trying to record on an external SSD. Um, so again, it's kind of useless, this cramp. So <laughs> uh, Now the cage itself comes with the handle, the top handle. Uh, it has this nice kind of wooden finish here, but overall though, I, I still see that like all the edges here are just like not machined very well, like they kind of have this sharp kind of edge, kind of feels rough. Um, so I don't know if I like that. Okay, so I, I have it tightened as much as I can, but uh, I don't know, let's just look at it. It's mounted, on, you know, and I tightened it in there, but it basically still the metal part that fits into the cold shoe there is too small. So it has a little bit of a plate. That's not very cool. And it's also a pain in the ass kind of tightening this. It's not, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't seem to tighten that, that well. And there's the finished rig. <laughs> so uh, does it work? I mean, it does work, but it's, uh, I think, my least favorite of the three here that I've been looking at. Uh, and even this, like, look at it. I still, when I move this, see this whole side now, because there's nothing attached on this side. Plus, it's just, I don't know, like this thin metal, it all flexes. So in a way, you're still holding on to just to that top screw there. Um, and like I said, this thing jams in my hand. Not very comfy. I don't know. I'm a little bit disappointed. Shape. It's a, it's a Canadian company. I was hoping. I was hoping it'd be nice. You know, I I, uh, I love Canada. I love Canadians. But uh, guys, you gotta step it up. Like the the quality of the of the material, like the the metal, the way it's cut. Uh, I think is it gonna work? I guess it's gonna work. Now, which cage would I recommend out of the ones here that I reviewed? Well, I, I think. Uh, they all have good and bad things about them, but I think the, the one that has the, just gives you the most possibilities, most options, is the one here that I have from Kim TV. Uh, but really, I'll leave the final choice up to you guys, because after all, 
what I like, you guys might you know not like and vice versa. So if you guys like this video, definitely don't forget to uh, hit the like button, share it with other people. Also, I wanted to give a big shout out to all my patrons for helping me in, in making these kind of videos that you guys see up here, plus a whole bunch of other extra videos that are of only four patrons. So if you guys want to help support me and want to have access to the extra content and live videos that I do uh, over there, then just go to patreon.com slash Tom Antos or just follow the link in the description and consider joining as a patron. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys once again and I'll see you in the next one. I've been bumping your... Oh God! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm such a bad actor.